The Iowa Double Tape Deck. The Waldorf and Statler of every thrift store. The selection here stinks. Yeah, and so do the customers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Peter, what's with the hat? I'm pretending to be a veteran. What? Yeah, it's awesome. Vets get all the sweet deals. I mean, you never see a homeless vet. And people have been really nice. Everywhere I go, they open doors for me. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Hey, so when really fat people come, make sure we're opening both doors. Oh, so suddenly it's a crime to break the law? Mr. Quagmire, you're free to go, but the rest of you will have to come with me. I thought we had it bad being gay overhead bins. What makes us gay? We've got bags in our mouths. <laughs> <laughs> Who here can pantomime driving a boat? Hmm, we got any boat guys here? Whoa, look at that. You guys should be recruiting me. Now, can you bounce with the waves a little bit? Uh-oh, getting kind of choppy. Is this guy for real? This is idiotic. This is nothing like what the Navy was. Shh, Quagmire, I gotta focus on my boat here. The way people's talking makes me think we're gonna be dealing with a lot of water. But what can we do? Quagmire was the only real soldier among us. You're right. Compared to him, we're about as useless as one of those automatic bathroom sinks. What the hell are you doing? This is a women's bathroom. Up. This is hopeless. There's no way to guess what their target is. Final boarding call for the Are We Ready to Attack? We Are and Many People Will Die booze cruise. Okay. I got a feeling about that one. Let's go! No, guys, we'll never make it on foot. We gotta steal that kid's jet ski. Peter, the boat's right there. We'll totally make it. It's the only <laughs> way, guys. Peter, we're now literally standing on the boat. That's how close the boat is. Made it! You wanted to ride the jet ski. I wanted ski. to ride the jet ski. Guess I'm not the first person to cave into family pressure. Like Stephen Baldwin. Why aren't you a bloated alcoholic yet? I'm sorry, Ma! Are you kidding? Running a bar is my dream! Well, that and waking up a rooster. Yeah! <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Joe, why are you dressed like that? Because I'm a mixologist. Oh, cool. What can you make? You name it, I can make it. Could I get an old-fashioned? Classic. Rum and Coke coming right up. And could I get a Moscow Mule? Rum and Coke for my comrade. I'll have a whiskey. Rum, Coke coming right up. Could I get a Rum and Coke? A Pepsi okay? Now that we're eccentric rich guys, we're going to go down 20,000 feet and pants James Cameron while he's excavating the Titanic. <laughs> there he is. This is going to be so great. selfish. He drives me crazy. I don't know why I put up with it. I guess... I guess I just have a forgiving personality. But enough about that. I'm probably starting to bore you. I always thought I'd go the way all dogs dream about. Slowly and at great inconvenience to my owners. Come on, boy. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get you to the living room. Oh. Lois, wrap one of his walking to the car pills in roast beef and peanut butter. I'm gonna hold his hips while he stands confused in front of the water dish. Go on, boy. It's right there. Come on, boy. It's right there. It's water. You like it. There you go. You're doing it yourself. Well, I guess all we can do now is the honorable thing. Make realistic puppets of ourselves to leave in the bar for Jerome to beat the crap out of. What the hell happened to my bar? And my painting? Well, don't just sit there staring at me with your limp limbs and your straw-filled plaid shirts. Wow, it's working. Good plan, Peter. Thanks, guys. Oh, no, I left the real me in there. He's 
falling for it, guys. He thinks I'm me. God, that must be where they do the deed. I hope it's at least peaceful and humane. Vic! Oh, boy. I've been investing in the market forever and doing just fine. You did it for one week and were literally eating your own kind. This isn't about Wall Street. I cannot stress that enough. Well, money is the root of all evil. No, it's not. It's just you. Hello, others. I am the father. Where is the mother and what kind of sex does she like to have? Oh, here come some tourists. I know. I'll sit here and pretend I'm a wax figure. Who is that? That's the fat idiot from The Family Guy. Ugh, I hate that show. Me too. I spent our entire savings building that stupid fallout shelter we never get to use. Why don't you just buy a TV for the weekend, watch Elvis, <laughs> and then return it on Monday and say it doesn't work? Boy, even in the 50s, you're a scumbag. No wife of mine is working. There's underpants in this house that need starching. I don't want to go to work in soft underpants like some Nancy boy. I want to go to work like this. Stiff as a plate. That's underpants. What? No son of mine is gonna be smoking dope. Why not, Dad? Is it any worse than your three martini lunch? What? No son of mine is gonna be drinking a three martini lunch. Why not, Dad? Is it any worse than your five scotch breakfast? What? No son of mine is gonna be drinking a five scotch breakfast. Why not, Dad? Is it any worse than your three X's drawn on the jug corn whiskey moonshine? What? No son of mine drink anything but rice wine. That's right. We trace our early family roots to Asia. Oh, I know war, my friend. I stormed the beaches at Normandy. Yeah! Of course, it was 1958, so the resistance wasn't quite as stiff. No running. I said no running. I'm not running. Our society is doomed. People and technology are a bad match, just like moms and Radiohead. Oh, no. No, no, this isn't music. No, I don't like this, David. No, that's enough. No, David, I don't like that. No. John Lennon said, love is the answer. He also said, no thanks, every hot woman. I'll take this woman crawling out of the well from the ring who none of my friends like. Yeah, I bet they were all like, oh, no. Downloading Yoko Ono. Oh, no. Downloading more Yoko Ono. No, 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 oh, no. Downloading all Yoko Ono. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. I don't care for this music either, David. Stewie, I think it worked. We did it. We switched bodies. Wow, this is really weird. It feels like, hey, what the hell have you been complaining about? What happened, Stewie? Is that you? Yes, Brian. It's God, that is a tight belt. How does he live like this? Oh, there we go. If I'm in Chris's body, he must be in mine. He's got to be freaking out. What the hell have you been complaining about? It's broken. Swapping four bodies must have overloaded its system. If I can't fix it, we'll be like this forever. This is a total disaster. Like when the fat man tried to keep Michael Shannon from going insane. Meadows, snowflakes, breeze through a cornfield, a soaring bird, rain on a metal roof. Hey, Peter, I'm going to need you to fill out your time card. Yeah, sure. I'll have it by the end of the day. It's okay. We'll hire new people and start again tomorrow. Perverse PP-related class on the female orgasm. She's crazed. Wow. You've got to get here with the machine so I can fix it. Right, so I can take your place in Peter's body. No, bring everybody. We've got to get things back to normal. And hurry, she's all revved up. <laughs> okay, everyone, please put your bananas and donuts back on the table. We're done with that exercise. Next, we'll focus on the female genitalia. Oh, good lord! I mean, va-va-voom, right, other men? I'm standing here for some reason doing the weather in a giant black man's body. What kind of a Friday is this? Freaky! Back to you, Tom. This just in. All kids report to the blue van in the park at 3 p.m. for free popsicles! What the hell? Am I doing a deal? Oh, Lord, this time I'm gonna need a chainsaw.
didn't listen to a word Dr. Johann said, did you? No, I did not. I mean, <laughs> the movie Roadhouse. <laughs>